Hey guys, it's Hunter. I'm up here by the front office in front of the main doors and I'm here to tell you that the only way to enter the school before 8 a.m. is through the cafeteria doors. These doors will be closed now just for security purposes. So if you get here before 8 a.m., just make sure to come through the cafeteria. All right, thanks guys. All right, well, we're here with Andrea to speak about Kick Butts Day. You care to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so Kick Butts Day is for to bring awareness for all those students who are smoking and vaping, and they're signing a banner so that they make a promise that they don't smoke and vape anymore. All right, cool. So what are you hoping to achieve like from this and all? We're hoping that Chesity High School is the first generation to not smoke and vape anymore. So Carly and I have already come out. We have our little stickers, and we're getting ready to sign that banner over there, and it's going to be great. Hey, CHS, we're here with Mr. Sheeman. He's going to tell us about some of the AP and Honors Awards that our school has won. Hey, everybody. Fantastic news. Chastity High School just recently earned STEM Honors, Humanities Honors, and we are an Equity and Access AP College Board School. Phenomenal news. That all, that's all on you, Chastity. Great work, Chastity teachers, and great work, Chastity students. We have an increased number of AP scholars, and we have an increased number of kids taking the AP exam. If you're interested in being an AP scholar or taking an AP class, come on down to my office in the cafeteria and we'll talk. Hey CHS, we're here with Mr. Kelly and Mary Swanson to talk a little bit about Thescon. Okay, so Mr. Kelly's troop went to a little conference called Thescon and he's just gonna tell us a little bit about what that is. So uh, Thescon is short for the Thespian Conference. It's kind of like the Honor Society for Theater. And so this year, almost 5,700 students from across the state of Georgia came for three days to eat, breathe, uh, and sleep theater. And we had a, a wonderful time. Can you just tell us about some of the stuff that y'all participated in and some of the, maybe the awards? I don't know. Yeah. Absolutely. So we go watch plays. For the last three years, we've performed our one-act play, including the state championship show from last year. Um, but we didn't take a show this year because we're building a pool um, here on campus for metamorphoses, uh, and that's going to hold uh, about 1,700 gallons of water. So we, we didn't want to practice another play. But we do participate in something called IE events, which is short for individual events. Um, and the very best IE of the entire conference get selected to be in the closing number. And that's something that we always shoot for and we've never quite uh, been able to achieve until this year. Um, we did a song from the musical Come From Away. It's called 38 Planes Reprise Somewhere in the Middle of Nowhere. Um, and the play is about people that were stranded outside of the United States after the attacks of 9-11 uh, when we shut down all the borders um, and didn't allow any planes. And so the song that our students were singing was a group of Americans coming from Canada because they'd been stranded in Canada. Um, and it's the first time anyone was really on an airplane since 9-11. So there's a little bit of fear. Um, there's some excitement to see their family. Um, and it's their experiences um, being on those first flights um, after 9-11. Uh, um, and so we made the closing number. Um, in addition to that, we, we were selected to be the final performance of the Thescon, which is usually given to whichever school ends up scoring the best out of all the schools. And what's cool is every school in the entire state competes against each other. So it's a 7A school, it's a single A private, it's a 4A school. Everybody's counted like equally. Um, and so to, to get that honor uh, was wonderful. Um, so if you see Trent Rayburn uh, and you see Kyle O'Dell and Crosby Casto and Carolyn Barber and Zoe Robertson, Peyton McMurrow, Sean Branion, congratulate them because they accomplished something we've never done before and most schools never get a chance to do ever. Well, thank you so much for talking to us about that. Listen up, War Eagles. We've got your Chesity Sports Report for this week. Girls basketball plays at Heritage High School at 6 on Friday in the first round of the state basketball tournament. Come on out to Heritage this Friday and show some support for your Lady War Eagles. Five wrestlers, Pascual Velasquez, Caleb Carter, Geromino Martin, Chino Ortiz, and Brian Ramos qualified for the state wrestling tournament this week. If you see these guys in the hall, show them some support for a job well done representing Chesity. 
Baseball season began with an 18-6 thumping of East Hall. Atticus Tomcho had two hits in a RBI, and Philip LeMay had a hit and two RBI for Chesity. The varsity team is scheduled to play tonight and Friday on the road this week. Their home opener is next Tuesday, so come on out to the ball field next Tuesday, grab some popcorn, and watch some baseball. Both the girls' and boys' varsity soccer teams tied in their season openers against Appalachie. They play at home on Friday and face Gainesville. Come on out Friday and watch the War Eagles thump Gainesville. Admission for students is free with your ID to all spring sports. So what are you doing after school? Come on out and enjoy a game with your friends. And this is Hunter Gowan with your weekly sports report. Have a great week, Chesity. Hey Chester T, I just want to say congratulations to the following students who are going to be going to Athens the 14th through the 16th of February to compete in the second round of All-State competition. Caroline Barber, Trinity Crow, Bailey Godfrey, Samuel Hamilton, Karina Croft, Alex May, Jacob Phillips, Miranda Roundtree, and uh, Krista Sailors, Grant Siegfried, and Abby Smith. When you see them in the hallways, tell them congratulations. Woo! Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, said everybody in this country should learn to program a computer because it teaches you how to think. Take a look at a list of highest paying careers in the United States today. Software developers and other IT related jobs are at the top of these lists. Projection shows that the number of unfilled jobs in computer science and information technology will top 1 million by the year 2024. Are you interested in computer hardware, game design, website development, computer programming, mobile app development, robotics, artificial intelligence? These are just a few of the fields included in these projections. Start learning about these fields and developing your skills in high school. Chesity offers two career pathways in information technology that teach these skills. Both of these career pathways start with the same course, Introduction to Digital Technology. In Introduction to Digital Technology, you'll create a computer game or app and you'll design and create your own website. Introduction to Digital Technology will teach you how computer hardware and software interact to create the user experience. Introduction to Digital Technology provides opportunities to showcase your talents and the local and state levels in technology fairs and coding competitions. If computer science and information technology are skills you would like to develop, then make sure you register for Introduction to Digital Technology. Email daryl.skogman at for more information.